What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to our video. Today I am doing my predictions for the 2020 Fan Shield 500. The, we are at race 4 of the season at Phoenix International Raceway. The final race of the West Coast Swing. Let's just talk about the race. So I looked at the weather for the race. It looks beautiful with no chance of rain. Partly cloudy skies. The temperature right now looks like it's going to be about 73 degrees when we do go get started racing. So that is very exciting here. Finally, for the first time, weather is not going to be in the forecast because weather has been in the forecast the last three races. Let's just hope and pray that weather does not affect this race and this does not change at all because the weather looks beautiful at the moment. Also, this is the first race we are going to be running the new short track package. Basically, the, the short track aero package that NASCAR changed. After NASCAR's really bad short track races last year where there really wasn't a lot of passing, the only race we saw typically anything good happen was Bristol on the short tracks. NASCAR decided to make a change to the package, and it's basically going, we're going back to 2018, which if we've seen the racing at Phoenix 2018, I thought it was pretty decent in 2018. It, we're gonna, but let's go see what happens here at Phoenix. So anyway, let's get into the picks for this weekend's race at, at Phoenix International Raceway. So how we do this normally is I do it kind of like how the NASCAR weekly podcast is. So I do who's going to suck who I think the underdog is going to be in this race, and who I think is going to win this race. To start off, we're going to talk about who is going to suck. So my my suck pick has a 15.5 average finish. He has zero wins and only four top five finishes. This driver has been a decent driver to start the year, but he kind of had a bad race last week and was kind of angry on the radio. My suck pick for this weekend's race is Mark Truex Jr., Historically, at this racetrack, he's never really been that great. His just his stats are not very good. He has only, granted he does only have three DNS, which is not horrible for a racetrack. But Martrix Jr. just has never really been that great. Yes, he got second place last year in the spring race, but I think he didn't do that well. I don't think he did that well last year in the fall race. So his his, his him historically at this racetrack, it's not very good. I think he's gonna have to. Do a lot if he wants to do well this weekend. I just don't think Mark Trucks Jr. is going to have a great weekend, to be honest with you. Now to my underdog pick. My underdog pick has the same average finish. And yes, he only has one top 10, but he has three top 20 finishes. This driver, I think, is someone we got to keep an eye on throughout the 2020 year. And with this team, it seems like back at the top, my underdog pick for this weekend's race is William Byron. William Byron historically at this racetrack is pretty decent. You know, he wasn't he did okay, but remember Hender was not that good last year. I think he could really, really, really step it up here and have a good enough run. I think a top 10 is definitely in the cards for him. The race at Auto Club was not very good, was not great for William Byron, to be quite honest with you. But I do think William Byron has a very good shot to do very well. Top five is is likely top 10. Definitely see him a top 10. And WC Hendrick Motorsports really coming back right now. They're at the best I've seen them in four or five years. They should have two wins right now, just, just saying. But yeah, William Byron, I think, is the underdog pick for this weekend's race at Phoenix. And now, finally, my winning pick has a 9.18 average finish, and he has nine career wins. You know what I'm talking about? My winning pick for this weekend's race is Kevin Harvick. The reason I'm picking Kevin Harvick to win this race is, one, that package we're going to. We're going to that, that short track package. Kevin Harvick seems to be a lot better with the short track package than he does with this package we currently have, the, the 2019 Aero package that we ran last year. I think he's going to do a lot better, better with that. Not only that, I think right now Joe Gibbs Racing in general has been completely struggling this, this year. They've been kind of off this year. I just don't think Joe Gibbs at right now is as good as they could be. I still think he's going to have to face some competition like guys like Ryan Blaney, Alex Bowman, and Kyle Busch for the win. But I don't think they're going to be able to beat Kevin Harvick. I think Kevin Harvick and SHR are going to finally get back on the top like they should be. Well, I'm not saying they should be. But they're finally going to get back on the top. And they're going to have a really, really, really strong race. And I believe, like I said, that Kevin Harvick will score his first win of the season. And he will be basically up there in contention for the points lead. So, yeah, those are my picks for the race at Phoenix this weekend. So, anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you can be notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on all my social medias. Links in the description below for that. 
and comment below your picks for this weekend's race at Phoenix International Raceway. Who do you think is going to win the race? Let me know below. Anyway, I want to thank guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.